step out of yes. your will, Father. Yes. Father, speak to our heart. Yes. Let us be still long enough to hear yes. your will, yes. Father. Yes. Bless our families. Yes, God. Help us to do your will, your but will. not our will, Father. Yes, Bless our kids. Yes. Our church, your church, Father. Yes. Continue to lead, guide us, in the way that you would have us to go, Father. Yeah. It's not about us, Father. It's yes. about what you would have us to do. Yes. Again, Father, it's not about us. That seems to get us in trouble. We, 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 we have got to stay in your will, Father. We ask all of this yes. in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Would you please stand as we read Old and New Testament? It comes from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, if thou would receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, Yes. So that thou incline thy ear unto wisdom and apply thy heart to understanding. Yes. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lifted up thy voice for understanding. If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as far hid treasures, then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord yes. and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. That is from the book of Proverbs, Proverbs the second chapter. Now our next reading is coming from the book of Book of Second Corinthians states. Having therefore these promises, mm -hmm. dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness and of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Re receive us, we have wronged no man, we have corrupted no man, we have defrauded no man. I speak not this to condemn you, for I have said before that ye are in our hearts to die and live with you. That's coming from the book of 2 Corinthians 7, chapter verse 1 to 3. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers and doers and hearers of his holy word. Let the church say amen. Say amen like you mean it. See? 
things by God on today. Anybody came expecting something from God on today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you ought to come with your hands lifted up and your heart filled with praise. This is my desire. 
Understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of 
my lips shall be righteousness. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is then an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteousness. There is nothing more but perverted in they are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice of All us together. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all things that we desire are not to be compared to it. Amen. Amen. May God bless his word. And if we make ready for our altar call, you can keep playing that. You can turn that up. It ain't no problem either. Like them young folks say, you can crank it. <laughs>
Come on, my nights in
Yeah. I just say yes to you. Come on, even as the choir gets ready to sing, I'll say yes to you. <laughs> I'm trying to leave it alone. I'm giving you an estimate. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
help us with games. Right, Jennifer? And Sister Decker has an announcement. Six to eight, excuse me, six PM to eight PM, October the thirty first, Monday. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm standing up here on behalf of the mission department pastor. We can come down for appreciation. We just want to show uh, our appreciation. Oh my God. Yes. All right. All right. Also, this coming up Saturday, we will be going on the women's retreat. Again, be here at 7.30. Correct? Okay. Sister Valera, I'll be picking you up at 7. <laughs> I'll go get your sandwich, too. <laughs> Amen. Uh, two things. Uh, men will meet you here definitely on Hallelujah Night to supervise and Make sure everything goes decent in order. Uh, they're starting at 6, six o'clock on that Monday the 31st. So we'll be here at 5, 5.30, whatever time you can make it. We'll appreciate it. Also, uh, we need to make sure both of the vehicles are Friday. You leaving Friday evening? We are leaving on Sunday and Saturday morning. We've already talked with them and they got it. Okay. We'll make sure both vehicles are up and running, or fueled, ready to go. All right, and uh, pray for you, ladies, says y'all have a good time traveling. Yeah. Amen. 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 There are some that's been sick in our midst and yes, going Lord. through struggles. Keep them in prayer as well. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Montgomery family and others that are bereaved, keep them in the family as well. Keep uh, Pastor Charles Poole. In prayer as he recovers. Yes, uh, yes. That's it. Come on, choir, give us another song. Yes, Remind me that uh, on third Sunday evening at 5.30, if you're interested in relationships and you want better communication in relationship, there's going to be at 5.30 next Sunday evening a short video giving us some insights on relationships. So if you're interested, please come back third Sunday. That'll be next Sunday at 5.30. Okay. Amen. Thank you, Brother Tracy.
only you can. In Jesus' name, amen. Malachi, the third chapter, verse 8 and 9, and it reads, Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But you say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Thank you. 
just want you. Yes, yes, yes. I just need you. Yes, yes, yes. I just need you. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, your grace, your mercy is sufficient. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Use me. Use me. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, yes, I just need yes, you. Yes, 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 yes. You, you. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. I thank you. I don't want it. I don't need it, God. Yes, yes. Surely don't need. I just want you. Yes, God. 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 I just want you. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. I just want you. Right, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. 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 We can say we, we want you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What are we willing to give? Yes. Yes, that part. That what are we part. willing to give up? Yes. Give up. Yes. Sacrifice. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You know, it's a two-way street. God will give, but we have to give. Yes. And you know, it's been a while since I've been up here preaching. And that was my choice. Yes, yes. Because I belong out in the street. That's where I'm at. All right. I speak the language of the street. And you know, you never know how God is going to use you. Yes, yes, yes. And I love what, what Sister Jennifer said. Use me in spite. Yes, in spite. In spite of me. Hey. Lord, in spite of me. Yes. 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 See, if you can't understand that, there's something. Yes. Yes. And you know, because God, Lord, forgive us that He didn't give us what we deserve you know, by the grace of God. His grace and mercy I've been is stuck sufficient. On the song, use the weeds, and it, it, you know, is who's gonna tell them? Yes. Who's See, gonna we gotta tell? tell the truth. Tell the whole world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole world. And in Just spite a little of bit, me, it's the whole world. <laughs> God has to use me in spite Use me. Yes. I'm going to get in the way. Yes. Because I got emotions. Yes. I got issues. Yes. I yes. got the Get out the way. Take the wheel. Take the issues. wheel. Take the My wheel. Issues. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. You know, the last yes. thing I wanted to do was come up here and cry. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. We cry. It's okay. I'm 64 years old. I've seen a lot, maybe too much. I've done a lot, maybe too much. But you know, the message is it's coming out of Psalms. Psalms 8, verse 4 through 6. You know what? Go ahead. Don't even worry about it. Don't just sit down because yes, this yes. is going to be totally different. Totally different. You know, the question is, what is man? Yes. What is man? You 
know, a man look at his life, and if you look at men on the street, what is man? Nothing. What is it? If you can go by the examples that men set, what is a man? Nothing. Is he that man that's driving a car with the suit on, hat, gangster lean? Yes. Is he that man? No. What is man? You know, I often have to ask myself, what is man? You know, I'm a, I was raised by Richard and Vernon. They raised me to be a man as they understood them. And what that means, take care of my brothers and sisters. I wasn't allowed to play with dolls, wear makeup. <laughs> I'm just telling you like it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Richard Lewis didn't play. He didn't play. My daddy was 6'2", 220 pounds of man. I was not allowed to play girly games. <laughs> And the first time I got hit, the rule was, fix it so it don't happen again. Well, yeah. Say it. Say it. You know, I, I need to tell you that I went to the Air Force. And I came home when I was 20 years old. And I hugged my dad. The man just froze. Yes. Mm -hmm. He didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. He had not been taught to love. Yes. Well, not like that. Wow. Well, wow. Wow. Well. Wow. But he was a man. Yes. I watched the man talk crazy to my mom. My dad picked this man up with one hand and knocked him out with the other. Mm -hmm. That's a man. Yes. But when I hugged him, he froze. You didn't know what to do. Love, love, love. And I promised myself that my son would know what it felt like to be hugged. Yes. And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love, I see love. my son to this day. I kiss him and I hug him. Yes, yes. He will never doubt what it feels like. Yes, to be loved. Love, love, love. As I look at these men, young men in the church today, and old, somehow we got knocked off the path. Yes. And you know, the world is a mess. Yes, it is. And you know what? You can't blame the politicians. Nope. You can't blame the drug dealers. Nope. You can't blame the thugs. Nope. You can't blame the children. Gotta look at yourself. You can't blame the women. Gotta look at yourself. So who does that leave? Yourself. The man. The man. Yourself. The man. Yeah. Now I'm going to read this and then y'all can do you can stand up or you can sit down and it, it, it really because it's about the message. Yes. Yeah. Have to look at yourself. According to God. Yes. Yes. Now this is according to God. Yes. What is man? And this is the Psalm of David. Uh, Psalms 8 verses 4 through 6. Now that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man, that thou visited him. And for all of those that does not follow, and what it's saying is, what is man? And who is the son of God? And why we visit with him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. Tell my man, a little bit lower than the angels. And has crowned him with glory and honor. Now, do you know what, a, what honor it is to be placed on that pedestal? Mm -hmm. Thou mayest him to have dominion over the works of thy hand, of God's hand. Everything that God made, he gave man dominion over. Mm -hmm. In other words, he put in charge of. Mm -hmm. And has crowned him with glory and honor. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys can be seated. Now. I see the hardest thing about preaching is you always got to look at yourself first. Yes. Yeah. Yes, say it, say it. That's the hardest thing. Hardest thing. And you know, a man is the head of the household. Yes. I don't care how you slice and dice it. And if the house is jacked up, it's because the man is jacked up. Yeah. 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 Say it, say it, say it. Tell the truth, tell the truth. I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm listening. I'm not, not going to run out. Or you say, well, how is that? 
Well, let's see. God has placed man in dominion over everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if God took a rib and made woman uh -huh. to be supportive of him, if the woman don't support him, something wrong with the man. Yeah. She sees something wrong with the man. There may not be nothing there, but yeah. she sees it. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. All right. So the man needs to change his way of doing business. Yeah. Okay. Become more prayerful and ask God how to become the kind of person that the woman will support. Yeah. Look at man. Man go to work. He's pushed. He's pressed. He's trying to provide. He's trying to make. He want to come home and rest. <laughs> well, you know what? Sometimes there ain't no rest because a woman has things too. Yeah. Her job is to be supportive. If they got kids, Lord have mercy, she deal with the kids. She cooks, she cleans, it's a full-time job. Does a man understand all of that? Nope. 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 Do I understand all of that? Nope. nope. We cook and clean and work. That's what I'm saying. You see, it's the man that allowed the world to be so jacked up. Kids running around. Crazy. Just stone crazy. Because of the man, the lack of the man. The family structure has just dissipated. You know, I, 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 I gotta tell this about me. Two days ago, I was driving up out of the uh, apartment complex. I had a 12 or 13 year old kid walk right out in front of me. Made me stop. And looked at me. <laughs> now those people that know me know that was not a smart move. <laughs> so I rolled down my window and I tried to be Christ-like. I tried. Try. I tried. And I said, why? Why? He looked at me and said, why what? <laughs> I'm still a little bit of Christian. I said, why? He said, just drive blank on. <laughs> well, like that. you know what? Well. I turned into rich on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told him, I said, you have no idea what and I did use profanity, what you about to get into. You have no idea. And he looked at me, I said, do you want me to get out of this car? Mm -hmm. Somebody's bad little child, you know. And, and so he realized that he was in over his head. He dropped his head and walked on and got on the, on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Now, I felt not bad. Okay, maybe I should have because my wife said I should have felt bad that that was a child. Okay. But you know what? When you stand up in front of me and cuss me, you become a six foot two, 210 pound man. And it's not my fault if you're short. Say it. Say it. Say it. I'm right here. No, I have to tell you, no. Today, would I do the same thing? I pray not. But I probably would. Yep. And it's because, you see, my wife said that that's a child. I look at it like I'm saving his life. Because he's going to run up on a real fool and try that, and then he's really going to run into problems. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And he dead his doorknob. And why is that? Because men aren't doing their jobs. Nope. Now, what I should have done was been able to establish a relationship with him and get to know him and become a mentor to him, become a friend to him. Now that's what I should have done. According to the gospel, that's what I should have done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I can't tell you. I can say the truth. Now, had I to get out of my car, would I have beat him down? No. And followed him home to save him from coming looking for me. See, we have got to learn 
better ways of handling situations as men. I have got to learn a better way to handle situations. Yeah, 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 yeah. And see, I can stand up before you and tell you about me so that you don't make the same mistake. Mm -hmm. Because that's what life is. If I fall in a hole, I'm responsible to tell you about that hole so you don't fall in it. Yeah. Well, now, if you want to jump in that hole, that's on you. Yeah. Yeah. See, you know, and, and, and God saw all of this coming. And that's why he defined the roles. Okay? A man was given dominion over everything. That means his actions, his ways. He was even given dominion over a woman. And if a woman don't accept it, then a man need to learn a new way to do business. Because anybody can be reached if you do it right. And that's where prayer come in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where prayer come in. A man has to be, truth be told, a man has to be more prayerful than a woman. Because he has more opportunities to mess up. And that's the truth. I'm just, you know, I'm, that's the truth. I'm just telling it like it is. Yes. yes. Now, you know, anybody, any man, you get on him the right way, he'll tell you, well, you're supposed to be supportive and you're supposed to pray for me. Right. Well, that's right. a two-way street. Right. And then they pray together. Yeah. If all of those things aren't going together, it ain't going to work. No. Nope. Yeah. As long as I'm, I'm snitching, I might as well tell the whole rest of the story. I'm going to tell you. You know, hey, um, that's on you. I'm talking about me. <laughs> now, you know, yesterday, I went to Oklahoma City, Bikita. And Lord knows we didn't have a good time. Ooh, Jesus. I hear her calling me. I ain't going to look back, all right? And if she get close to smack me, y'all let me know so I can duck. <laughs> I became so angry. Yep, I became so angry. I pulled over. I said, get out. One more word, get out. Because she tried my last nerve. The last one, the one I be saving. <laughs> well, hang well, on my special occasion. The one that keep me out of jail. Yeah. That nerve. Hang on, hang on the that, that, that nerve that, 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 that I be saving in case I run into a, a teenager. <laughs> that nerve. And I was, oh. I said just not one word, one more word, one more word, that's one, and I'm in one more word. Oh my Lord, thank God it was a silent trip the rest of the way. But you know, some people can't leave well enough alone. <laughs> Once we got home, <laughs> we got alone for a minute, and then it cranked right back up. And you know. I was studying for the lesson, and it, 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 it was spoken to me that, Richard, you need to find a new way to do business. See, it's not Keita's fault that she got on my last nerve. It's my fault because I didn't handle the situation correctly. See, I wish I could duck and dodge, but right here in this verse, it tells me that God gave me dominion over all things. I can dictate how she treats me by the way I treat her. Hello. You know, I, I, I hate telling on myself because it's no fun. And then I get people out there agreeing with me. But it's the truth. Yes. I love the truth. Try to stand up here. <laughs> but you know, and, and, and the Bible says what a woman's job is. Okay? It, it spells it out. You know, and for those that want to know, turn to uh, Ephesians. I'm not going to read it. But it's verses 22 and 33. It tells you what a wife is supposed to do. And I'm not going into that because I tried that one and it didn't work at home. I'm not trying to do that. No. No. But the thing is, is that it all starts with the man. And if a man isn't based in, in the gospel, then his house is going to be crazy. His children going to be crazy. 
His dog going to be crazy. <laughs> Everything in the house is going to be crazy. You can't blame the woman. Yep, it's the man. Now children, even children, you have a parent, a mom or a dad, mom and dad, but you realize, you got to realize, they provided for you. You may not have had the best of, but you had. You had. They made sacrifices for you to have. The Bible says, honor, honor, honor. Um, now you know you know what the saddest thing in the world could be is that your parents die before you get a chance to tell them thank you that would be the saddest thing in the world and see I'm going to say my mom is gone and, I, and she know I loved her and I told her hundreds of times but you know what? I would love for Verna May to still be living. She prayed so hard for this individual you see in front of you today. I used to go out to the club. She'd be praying, Lord, watch over him. Please let him don't get into nothing. Please let him make it home. Please let him make it home safely. My grandmother. She prayed. Those women I hold in high esteem. Now, if you want to see me go left, talk about one of them. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. I will go there. Real quick. You know, I won't even say, God forgive me, Jesus forgive me. No, I will just go there. Because they prayed for me. And their prayers were answered. You see, when I was in the Air Force, I was one of the few gifted people that the first three years in the Air Force, all I had to do was play basketball. That's all I had to do. And that's what they let me do. And it was prayer. Needless to say, being the intelligent person I was, I got into trouble. Committed nine felonies. <laughs> yeah. I should be locked up today. But prayer. But prayer. And I'll tell you how, how much their prayers worked. They let me leave the state and come back to Wichita, Kansas, and lock myself in a church and pray. And I told God, I right there and there, if you get me out of this, I will never do that again. And you know what? He's lived up to his end of the bargain. I've lived up to mine. Amen. Message is today, young men, you have an obligation to yourself. You have an obligation to the church. You have an obligation to God. You have an obligation to your parents. You have an obligation to every individual in this church to be a godly man. To do the best you can. And when you fall short, you know, some people say, well, I told God about it. That's not what the Bible says. They say, if you got to out with somebody, you go to them. And you work it out. And then you take it. Yeah. So many times people say, well, God know. Well, yeah, he know. He was there when you did it. <laughs> He was there when I did. The question is, what am I willing to do to be a godly man? See, God made provisions for people like me who wasn't going to get it right the first time, or the second time, or the third time. Fifteen. That part. That part. And you know, I see people about to go in holes and I tell them. And sometimes I was told once that I go too far. But you know what? How far is too far? If I have made a mistake and I don't want you to make it, how far is too far? You know, it goes back to what is love? What is love? Some people tell you God is love. Who does that really tell me? And God is love, I mean. But tell me how I can demonstrate love. See, when I stand in front of you when the trial comes. When I stand on side of you when you're going through the trial. Will I pray with you? Will I take money out of my pocket and give it to you when you're going through hard times? Will I cry with you when you cry? Will I laugh with you when you laugh? 
See, that's love. Love is being there for you. How can I expect for you to be there for me if I'm not there for you? That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, I, I look at, you want to see something really funny? You want to hear something really funny? Now, most people know that homosexuality goes against God's gospel. But I tell you what, if you ever watch homosexuals in action, they have love. You don't see them fight and arguing like you see men and women do. Something wrong with that. Something wrong with that. When they go on against God, and they got love and harmony, and we going with God, trying to live God's life, and we having discord. Something is wrong. It's not the woman. It's not the woman. You don't know how much it hurt me to say this, okay? <laughs> I take no pleasure in blaming the man for this. None. But it's, it's in black and white. What can I say? What can I say? It's in black and white. So apparently, and I'm going to speak for me, I'm a very stupid man. I have all the tools that God gave me to make my relationship a better relationship. And I don't use them. I use man's knowledge. I use what I was taught. I got to be the man. I got to be the man. What is the man? I just said it. The Bible just wrote it off. Just told me what it was. Being a man carries a lot of responsibility. A whole lot more than I knew about. See, being a kid ain't bad. <laughs> you get to play, go to school. <laughs> See your friends, it ain't bad. But when you become an adult, you got bills to pay. <laughs> you got kids, job, you do everything. You know, and you got people getting on all your nerves. See, they get on your nerves at work, and you go home, people get on your nerves. Hey, that part, that part. That part. That part. Lord Jesus, you know. Yes, yes. You know, I, I look at, 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 at myself, and I look at my first wife, she died of cancer, I look at my first marriage, and I look at that woman, when I first saw her, I knew I was going to marry her, I knew she was the one, I knew her. And she was a good woman, she was a better woman than I was man. You know, at the time I was drinking, full blown. You know, and, and the thing is, is that, you know, I started out having fun drinking. Then it got to be a monster. It got to be bigger than I was. And you know, I learned from my dad, God bless his soul. He used to drink and, and go out and waste, he could get paid, go out and spend his money, and come home broke. He did that one time, and Vernon May said she was tired of it. <laughs> And right on the front porch over at 18 and Pia, she went off. And that man made the worst mistake he could ever make. He had five kids. Now what's the worst mistake he could make? He raised his hand. He didn't hit her. He raised his hand. And he got ambushed. He did not see that coming. He did not see that coming. No, I can only tell you the truth. I can only tell you the truth. And it shocked him more than anything. Because he was, I provide for these people, and all of them turned on him. He was hurt. He went and found a place and sat down. And you know what? He figured out, maybe I better come up with a better plan. Man had a sixth grade education, but he was smart enough to figure that out. And you know what he would do on payday? He would come straight home, give Vernon May his paycheck. <laughs> she would give him a couple of dollars to go play with, and everything was peaceful. Men, we need to find a better way to do business. <laughs> and I'm challenging every man in here to take and read these scriptures and ask God to give him 
wisdom and knowledge. Because we need it. Because you know what? The church is growing. And we need, we have a lot of love in this church. But guess what? We need more love. For the church to get what God wanted to be, we need more love. And it's on the man. It's not on the women, it's on the men. You see, I, I see things that other people don't see. Okay? I have seen movements of God. I've seen miracles. I've seen children who've had new hearts put inside of them. And they live. They're living and living and having a good time. I've seen children that the doctor has given up, given up on. People pray and they hear. You see, people say, well, there are no miracles. That's a lie. They're all around us. All around us. God wants to do a whole lot more for this church and each individual in here. The question is, as Arthur was singing, I want more, how much more are we willing to give? Are we willing to submit ourselves to God's word? Yeah, yeah. Men, women, and children. Because you know what? If a man <clears throat> handles himself and conditions himself and becomes a person worthy of honor, he will be honored. If a man carries and treats his wife like a queen, guess what he's going to end up with? A queen. A queen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And young ladies, if a man is saying, calling, using that B word, that's not the one for you. No. No. Wait on the Lord. Because there's some good men out there. They just need to be polished a little bit. <laughs> because, you know, the man is using that word. If somebody called his mama, that he'd be ready to fight. Yep. Say it, say it. Yeah. But you know that that word has become socially acceptable. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But is it right? Or right? <coughs> no. 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 You know, it goes back to the two laws of God. See, because God gave Moses ten commandments, but then he figured out most people were too stupid to deal with ten. So he narrowed it down to two. Love. Glory with all the heart and soul. And treat thy neighbor, love thy neighbor, and love yourself. Now, how would most of us feel if somebody called us to be word? Would we be good Christians and say, oh, I love you, I'm sorry, no. I forgive you? You're ready to fight. Or would we like, well, I see how this goes. Go. No, you're ready to fight. We need to be more mindful. You know, he goes back, who's going to tell them? Because the rabbi is telling them that they be bees. The dope man telling them they be bees. They even taking women off the street, stealing them, and selling them into prostitution. Who's going to tell them? Who's going to tell them? We have to tell them. And you know it's so bad today that they steal men, too. <laughs> and make prostitutes out of them. The question is, who's going to tell them? Who's going to tell them? Who's going to tell them that Jesus loves them? Who's going to tell them that they don't have to go out to the nightclub to find a man or find a woman? Who's going to tell them? We have to tell them. It's up to us. Who's going to tell them? We have to tell them. We have to go out. Well, we don't. You know, if it saddens me like this, can you imagine what it does to God? Yes. Who's going to tell them? Well, we don't. Who is going to tell them? Well, we don't. We sit in our places, houses. Who is going to tell them? As I look around here, I see nothing but miracles and blessings. Who's going to warn them? That's right. We yep. got to go tell them. We got to tell them. Yep. Who's going to tell them? Get out of your comfort so building. Your cars, your home. You go out and do it. Today. You go out and do it. Word. 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 Word.
You got to do it. We 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 Each one, teach one. Who's gonna warn him? Each one, teach one. Of the things coming yes. on. So God can turn their night to day. Yes. Somebody's gotta tell them. Yes, yes. Somebody's gotta warn them. Somebody's gotta tell him Somebody's gotta tell him Oh It's giving you the privilege of salvation He's in Christ Jesus If you know not Christ in the point of your sin Today is the day if you need prayer, today is the day. If you want to rededicate your life, today is the day. Lord, let them realize that that is a gift that they have, a gift given to them from you. Let them cherish that gift. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen.